HCAM programming is supported by viewers like you and by Star Realty, a real estate brokerage firm specializing in residential real estate sales in and around Hopkinton. Their agents live in town, send their children to Hopkinton schools, serve on local boards, volunteer for local causes, and frequent local business. Hopkinton is where they live, work, and give back. Star Realty. Coming up in tonight's broadcast, the Horribles Parade, construction on Main Street, and an interview with Emily Trudeau, a middle school student who took a stand against bullying. All this and more brought to you by Hopkinton's television station, HCAM TV. I'm Michelle Murdoch, and HCAM News starts right now. Hello Hopkinton and welcome to HCAM News for the week of July 8th. Hopkinton celebrated the 4th of July with its annual Horribles Parade, a longtime tradition that features floats, fire trucks, water guns, and the opportunity to poke fun at local politics. This year was no different with a float poking fun at this year's town meeting. In an effort to provide more details on the proposed casino in Milford, Foxwoods, Massachusetts, on Wednesday, July 10th, begins a series of public presentations outlining the impacts of the project. The first meeting will focus on traffic patterns, plans, and infrastructure, and begins at 7 p.m. in the Milford High School Auditorium at 31 West Fountain Street. On Wednesday, July 17th, water and sewer impacts will be addressed. And on Wednesday, July 24th, at 7 p.m. in the Stacy Middle School Auditorium, the presentation will focus on social and economic impacts of the casino. The final meeting on July 31st, also at the Stacy Middle School in Milford, will present environmental and design matters. All meetings are open to the public, and any questions or inquiries should be directed to Selectman Brian Herr, Chairman of the Metro West Anti-Casino Coalition. Construction to replace the water main continues in downtown Hopkinton this week, with work being done between Grove Street and Hayden Row. In order to maintain two lanes of traffic, the parking spaces on both sides of the road are being utilized by the construction crew. The work is being done by Russo Brothers, who on Monday were in front of Hopkinton Gourmet digging and installing the new pipes, and will continue through the end of the week up the street past the library and town hall to the intersection with Hayden Row. Do you have any overdue books at the library? From July 8th through July 19th, it's fine free days at the Hopkinton Public Library. Return any overdue or found items during this time and no fines will be charged. Our next story is an inspiring one about a student at Hopkinton Middle School who was bullied, but rather than feeling sorry for herself, she decided to take a stand. Imagine waking up every day and not wanting to get out of bed, not wanting to go to school, just wanting to hang out in your room by yourself all day. Or when you did go to school, feeling alone, eating lunch by yourself or with your guidance counselor. That's how Emily Trudeau, an eighth grader at Hopkinton Middle School, used to feel before she decided to stop being sad and take a stand against bullying. It started around sixth grade was when I started to gain a little bit of weight and I was I still had some of my baby fat on me and everything and I used to get poked fun of for my weight and everything and then it went in through sixth grade to seventh grade and I lost a lot of friends for it and everything and then this year it was um, it was mainly name calling and stuff and it wasn't in the beginning it wasn't mainly to hurt me but in the end it got around and it did start hurting me and then they just kept going. But rather than continuing to let it hurt her, Emily decided to do something and created a YouTube video. Like my experience of bullying, I thought that if I shared it with people it would make people feel not so alone because I know that when I was being bullied 
the one thing that would run through my mind was feeling very alone and I didn't want I don't think that anyone else should feel that way so I thought that putting it out there would maybe help people realize that they're not alone in this and that a lot of people go through it too and sharing her feelings resulted in lots of positive feedback um, yeah I've gotten a lot of feedback from mainly um, from mainly people at my school people in the town and a couple people from the high school actually have commented on it. Um, I haven't gotten any negative feedback on it, which is really nice because it shows that it hit home for some people. Um, and I think it really helped some people because I got a lot of Facebook chats after asking for advice and telling me that, you know, you're so strong and, you know, it, it felt good to get a positive reaction from people. And talking about her problem also helped. I think talking about it made me feel a lot better about it because Bullying is something people don't really like to talk about, but, you know, I went to guidance, I went to my parents, I went to a lot of my friends, and once I kind of opened up about it and talked about it, I felt and I noticed that it got a lot better. And that's one piece of advice that Emily recommends for others. The best thing that I ever did was open up and talk to someone about it, because that way I got advice from someone and I didn't have all these thoughts in my head you know, racing around all day of feeling alone or feeling like I couldn't talk to anyone about it. And I went to a couple people and that in the beginning I was really nervous to, but after just letting go and kind of venting out to them, it made me feel a lot more secure and a lot more um, myself. For kids that are getting bullied now, um, my advice to them is that they should not feel like they're alone in it because they're not because a lot of people go through it as I said in the beginning but I think that they know and they feel like they can't go to someone and talk to them about it because they feel embarrassed or they're nervous of what's going to happen if it'll make it worse and that's what I thought I thought that if I went to Mr. Meehan about it and I went to my parents and my friends that they would talk to these people and it just get worse in the end but after all it kind of it helped because it made them realize that what they're doing hurts so my advice to anyone that's getting bullied is that it will get better because it got better for me and it just put me in a much better place now and I've I'm a lot stronger than I was two years ago but I think that they should definitely talk to someone about it she also has a message for the bullies I don't think you're a bad person I don't think that you aren't going to get anywhere in life. I think that you're all still great people, but I think that you, you doing this is setting up a bad reputation for yourself and it's making you, it's making you seem a lot, um, a lot worse than you actually are deep down. And I mean, the people that bully me, I'm not mad at them. I don't hate them. I'm not I'm, I don't have any hate towards them. I just think that what they did is wrong and I want them to realize that they can't do that to people to make a reaction or even if they think it's funny because it's not funny. Today, Emily considers herself a stronger person for taking action and hopes that others will work together to prevent others from getting bullied and maybe someday it will be eliminated altogether. It's possible if everyone would work together and everyone would realize that if you say things that are hurtful to people that it will hurt them and that is in a result of bullying but I think bullying should have never happened in the first place but I do think that if we all work together on it that it can stop and I mean even not fully because there are going to still be mean people out there but we can definitely work together to help it calm down and to help it stop hurting people as much. Going forward Emily hopes to use her experience to help others. There's been this program that um, three jun or four junior girls have been putting on at um, our school, and it's called Define Yourself. And um, I went to two of the group meetings and everything, and it really, really made a difference. And I decided that what I want to do for the rest of my life, pretty much, is I want to create a foundation. Um, for bullying and for girls that have low confidence and help them and um, the girls that run the Define Yourself um, group are Maddie Jawsback, Emma Nyagrosh, um, Alexander Karp and Ashley Brooke and um, or Ashley Brooke's also known as Ashley Olson but um, me and Ashley um, 
all, we both have the same dream for when we're older. And she was telling me about it, and I said, I want to do something like that too. And she said, so why don't we work together on it? So we're kind of partners on a big adventure to kind of make a change in the world for girls and everything. To see Emily's video, visit her YouTube channel, Oh Hey, It's Emily. I mean, I almost have... I almost have 40 subscribers. I'm at 39 right now, so I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> and another feel-good story tonight. Four local children, Jake and Lily Schwartz, and Ellie and Anna Power, were recognized by the Board of Selectmen on Tuesday, July 2nd, for their contribution to the library expansion project. To show their support for the library, the children donated the proceeds from their lemonade stand. We're going to take a short break next, and we'll be right back with a trip to the Hopkinton Farmer's Market. Hi, I'm Cheryl Peralt, host of the program Meet Your Neighbor on HCAM TV. This show introduces you to Hopkinton residents, the many interesting people who are our neighbors, and we invite them to share stories, experiences, insights, and observations from their lives. We'd like to hear who you think should be interviewed on our program. So if you know someone that Hopkinton should get to know more about, please email me and stay tuned for more episodes of Meet Your Neighbor on EdgeCam TV. The new farmer's market on the Hopkinton Town Common finished its third week of operation on Sunday, June 30th, when the EdgeCam news camera stopped by for a visit. Early crops available included kale and snap peas, strawberries and blueberries, and other vendors were also on hand, including Five Loaves Bakery, Local Artists and Cheese, Waterfresh Farm, and The Pumpkin Farm. A big hit with the younger crowd were the visiting alpacas. The Hopkinton Farmer's Market takes place on the town common every Sunday from 1 to 5 p.m. through October 20th, providing residents the opportunity to buy locally grown produce throughout the coming months. Runners participating in the One Run for Boston arrived in Hopkinton on Sunday, June 30th as the first ever cross-country non-stop running relay, which started in Los Angeles on Friday, June 7th, drew to a close as the runners headed for their final destination in Boston. Several members of the Hopkinton Running Club ran the six-mile leg from Upton to the Marathon start line in Hopkinton, and many others gathered at the start line to await the arrival of the baton for the start of the next leg headed to Framingham. Each of the runners added their name to the banner that had traveled cross-country, and Dave McGilvery, the BAA race director, was on hand to kick off the leg, leaving from the start line in Hopkinton as the relay made its way into Boston. The event was organized by a trio of British runners who wanted to show their support for Boston, and all funds raised will go to support the One Fund. We're going to take another quick break and we'll be right back with the Girl Scouts of Troop 72975. Hello, welcome to HCAM Insights. Did you know that Hopkinton's television station has a Facebook page? Visit facebook.com slash HCAMTV to be connected with all the latest news, events, and programming updates for HCAM. We have a lot of friends or fans or likes or whatever they call them now. You don't have to know how to use all the bells and whistles. We make it easy for you to stay connected and informed. So check it out and like us today. A major milestone for two Hopkinton employees at the end of June, Hopkinton's fire prevention officer, Bob Santucci, retired after 35 years of service, and Hopkins school wellness teacher, Peter Coach T. Torelli said goodbye to his students at the June all-school meeting as he is also retiring after 35 years of service. Also highlighted at the June Hopkins all-school meeting was a group of 18 Girl Scouts whose year-long accomplishments were summarized in a video produced by HCAM News. Hopkinton's Girl Scout Troop 72975 had a busy year. 
learning about the many roles women and girls play in the world around them. From understanding the leadership skills that play an important part in those roles, and from being aware of how stereotypes could hold them and others back from trying on new roles, the girls completed many activities as they tried out more roles than they ever thought possible while completing the Amuse Journey, which is part of the Girl Scouts' It's Your Story, Tell It Leadership Journey Series. Two important themes run through all of their activities for the year, learning about stereotyping and gender roles and becoming a community leader. The journey's called Amuse and it's um, about leadership and not doing stereotype and um, we watched at the beginning of the year we watched a video and this man um, like sent a message to um, a newscaster and said you're not being a very good role model for um, women because you're overweight and um, she stood up to him in public on the news and said, it doesn't matter, I don't live my scale, I don't live my life by a scale, um, and what I think is, you're, it doesn't matter what's on the outside, it, it, like, you, you see what's on the inside and not on the outside. Throughout the year, the girls focused on working together to help others in the community, from leading and organizing the Daisy Tea. We got to help kids younger than us, and we um, got to teach them manners. We got to like show them what to do, and we got to like be leaders for them. To participating in Thinking Day. You got to learn about different countries and like activities that they did and working together in other activities that included camping, team building, and meeting community leaders. My favorite activity was probably the town encampment because we had a lot of fun and we got to sleep over with our friends. It was fun to um, camp outside and to sleep with your friends and we did um, fun activities like well, when we were like eating in the morning and um, for dinner we had interesting foods. A favorite activity for a lot of the girls was Girl Power, a program designed to get the girls excited about being strong, self-confident, independent and healthy. What I do is I create a program to empower girls, to remind you that you have the power to make every day amazing and it's all about choices. So we're going to talk a lot about that today. Okay? Choices that you make about your friends, about yourself, about your schoolwork. Okay? Sound good? But also, rolled into that, I also teach girls how to take the best care of themselves that they can. Um, take care of their bodies through exercise, um, healthy habits, um, eating right, all those kinds of things. So we're going to start by getting active. Okay? So that's our first thought already today. I'm going to have positive thoughts that I want you girls to take with you. And talk like nobody's better than girls and we're not better than anyone so everybody's kind of the same we're um, we're not any different I thought that was great we got to really express our emotions and in the end feeling stronger walking taller and gaining confidence is all part of the journey the best thing about being a Girl Scout is that you get to meet like other girls that um, like you're all as a troop together and you like depend on each other and there's nothing that you like you wouldn't like about them. And that wraps up this week's edition of HCAM News, keeping Hopkinton up to date with the latest local happenings. I'm Michelle Murdoch, and for the HCAM News team, that's your news, Hopkinton.
Keep you safe